Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Living Irving. It's your girl Tanya. Today I have another cornrow hairstyle for you. So what I'm doing is just moisturizing my hair with a little bit of water so that I can comb it out without breaking my hair. Uh, today I will be doing six cornrows. I've already pre plaited the cornrows that I'll be sewing down so I don't have a back mirror so I'm doing my best to get a straight part here so I'm going to pre-part my hair uh, where I want to start I love starting on the ends and as you can see I have traction alopecia um, my hair is very thin and broken off around the edges and this hairstyle works wonderful with traction alopecia because it's very gentle. I'm going in with my favorite product, Shine and Jam, and this helps with flyaways. It gives my hair a nice shine and hold as I French braid my hair. So as you can see, I am not touching my edges whatsoever and I'm braiding very gently. Um, doing this hairstyle is a little bit different using pre-plaited uh, plaits to sew down. I like it because I am tender headed and I don't like a lot of tension on my hair. I have migraines, so I get an instant headache. So this sew down method not only like covers up my ball thinning edges, but it's like less pressure on my hair. And when I'm sewing it down, as you can see, I don't pull at all even when I'm braiding I'm not braiding tight and I don't pull at all so go ahead and just corner your hair how many ever braids that you want in this hairstyle I will be doing six so once you get that all corn rolled down, I like to go in with my shining jam and just secure my edges and keep moisture there. So you're going to need a needle and some sewing thread. And this is what my pre plaits look like. So go ahead and position your plait on your braid. And when you're doing this, you really want to focus in securing the front um, because it's a little bit thicker in the front. You want to make sure you just kind of like, I don't know, squeeze it in and uh, just secure it well on the front because you don't want it to really like pop up or anything or you don't want to see the yarn so focus your first couple of threads in the front and then just go ahead and braid um, sew down the rest of the braid I'm not going to do the entire head I'm doing this one braid so you can get an idea I will link above the last video that I did with the two so you can kind of see what I did with the two French braids but yeah just go ahead and sew down the braid this is a great style if you don't really know how to feed in hair or do um, braids with hair so as you can see I have my six braids and I'm gonna go ahead and take a rubber band and braid that down and then I'm gonna plait the hair into one big plait after that I'm going in with a jumbo bag of hair for 99 cents and I'm tying that down and then what I'm going to do is braid in the cornrows into one big jumbo plait like so. Try to be as neat as possible because we're going to make this into a bun so you don't want a whole bunch of hairs sticking out but you don't have to be like the best braider on the planet because I definitely am not and this hairstyle is super friendly and very easy to achieve. Um, so yeah just go ahead and twist that big jumbo plait into one big bun and then you're going to need some bobby pins with this hairstyle. Tuck that under and get your bobby pins and just secure the bun. Um, I like to go in. You can totally skip hair jewels. Um, I like to add an extra little bit of pizzazz to my braid styles. It just, I don't know, it just makes the hairstyle pop. So you can definitely do this without if you're not into the hair jewels. And then go ahead and lay down your baby hairs like so. And yeah, this hairstyle is super easy. I didn't put any edge control black on my edges because the plaits are disguising it. But I love the hairstyle. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What else could you ask for? Baby, I'm a hot, sexy mama. We